not really worried about Omicron. I'm the same as cinema. If we hadn't have hit the pantomime months ago, we probably wouldn't be going, but we did. And I feel like we're just gonna be super, super careful, as everybody should be being. The end. I haven't been to pantomime in years. You think you've never been, or you think you have when you were a kid? I think I saw Aladdin. When you were little? I think I saw Aladdin too. I used to love Aladdin. Cool. So, Toby literally has like forgotten everything about the pantomime, so it's going to be exciting. I think you're going to enjoy it. Actually, you probably won't. You hate stuff like this, don't you? Okay. Like interactive things. You hate having to like get involved. Yeah. Yeah, Toby, Toby's not an interactive kind of guy. I quite like it, but you like to just stay quiet yeah. in, in most situations. Um, no, I think you'll enjoy it. I think Lily will make us enjoy it too. Oh yeah, apparently my niece was quite scared. Yeah, we might not even last. Because apparently when the giant came, she got really scared and they had to leave, so let's see. Yeah, maybe. When does the giant come out? Should we see if we can come out and start? What I mean? Oh, we, had, a, we, had, we had an argument with someone this morning. What's that little caravan in there? Drop mm. your dry cleaning. Oh, oh yeah, you can drop it off. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. That's not a thing. Who wants to get the dry cleaning done in there? Well, so no, we I start. Think it's we like Jackson's, they just take it. Yeah, they take it somewhere. I don't oh. think they do. <laughs> with the little pails out on the side. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we, uh, well, I don't know, like a pan of water or something. Yeah, I know, it's just funny. I feel like everyone said pale in a hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, we genuinely thought about taking our stuff there once. I love, I feel like dry cleaners are the nicest people. I bet the ones in Bagshaw are always really nice. But our dry cleaners now, we go to Timpsons because it's like attached to Tesco. Our oh, dry cleaners, we've been there I guess, twice. Uh, okay, no, <laughs> I, I, know, so, so far, I, I know a guy, you know. <laughs> he's, he changed <laughs> our watch dry cleaner, I'll just call him up, it's fine. He changed our watch batteries. <laughs> He's a monster. He's just a handyman, really. <laughs> I love him. He's like my favourite person. I don't know where he's from, but he's picture. like, I just love him. He's really nice though. He's very, very helpful. If you need a battery, battery watch or a dry cleaning. Yeah. The reason why I liked him so much is I took mine and Toby's watches to get the batteries changed. Okay. And all the dates and times are wrong, you know, and you're just like, I have no idea. And then he was like, oh, I'll just do it for you. And just did them both quickly. And I was like, oh my God, you're my hero. You're saving me like, three hours of trying to figure out. And you'd know it'd be three hours because you watch now works. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't worn my watch for ages actually. Uh, yours so all his hard work was for nothing? Who's hard work? The watch man. What? You, said you, you said you took oh. your watch to get the batteries <laughs> and now you don't wear the watch after he's been saying that he did it. Did you not hear the story? <laughs> well no, you're enjoying like, the fruits of his labour, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you have know, just I did wear my left watch. Him. A he's got a bit. picture of him in a wallet though. I just forget. <laughs> no, but I have got the card from him to go and pick up my dry cleaning tomorrow. I'll see him. I'll send you a picture. Can't wait for your watch to run out, XOXO. <laughs> he said to me, because I took like a designer jacket in there to have dry cleaned. And um, it's left here. so he was checking the tags and stuff on it. He was like, you won't believe the amount of stuff. He was like, you have to come back within six weeks. He was like, if six it's, months. No, within he was like, we held it for six weeks, but then after six months. Oh yeah. Um, Goes to charity shop. They take a charity shop. He was like, the amount of Gucci, Armani, like everything. Yeah. He was like, we just sent to a charity shop. I was like, um, what day? Do you <laughs> My name to? is Charity Shop. Yeah. When, when does that happen? Did, did you ever? Celine so Dion's going really it? downhill as she's playing. Oh, once I went to snaps. This is where we used to go clubbing, Toby, when we were clubbing. like 11. You know, when you're a kid and it's like a, it's like a club night or whatever for like a, like little kids. Um, yeah. Oh, wow, what's going on here? That's what it was here. It was called Snaps. And um, they wouldn't let you take in chewing gum or hairbrushes. Hair <laughs> oh, yeah. Away. They checked you down for chewing gum out of all yeah. the things you'd be smuggling Why? in. Why? Because they didn't want you sticking it on like... Oh, that's fair. The that's thing, fair. yeah. Yeah, it's contraband. <laughs> Someone would sneak it in though. You guys are so cool. And then you'd be like, just looking for people from school to like show that you'd like been to like a club night. But you were literally like 11. Like, it, was it was so, so funny. Bad. It must have been hilarious. Cause you like, you know when you do that when you're young, you feel proper old. Like you feel like you're literally in like oh, a mate, club. You can definitely fit through here. 
She's a little old lady scared. Literally. Aww. Happy with that, everybody? Job yeah. done. So, all my laptop and everything's in the car. Is that all going to be okay? Yeah. Uh, not even on eBay. No. Oh, what will they do without the cash? If they can't find a buyer, how will the. We made it through half a pantomime. So, Lily actually went the other day with Bex, um, my sister in law. And apparently she got really scared because there's a giant. But I d did they actually stay in time to see the giant? No, yeah, she, yeah, she did. Bex saw her. So they left after the first half. And then I think she just remembered. And the whole time she was like, I'm scared, I'm scared, I want to go home. Then when they were doing like songs and stuff, it was like fine. And then she just kept getting scared again to the point where like my brother was like, we just need to go. Out. Yeah. So unfortunately, we don't get to see the end of the pantomime. And I'm not going to lie, I was really enjoying it. You were getting a bit into it. I feel like you hate, but when we first got there, I was like, you literally, this is the worst experience of your life. And then I feel like you didn't hate it too much, no? God. You just don't want to say you loved it. So yes, unfortunately, only a half a pantomime this year. We'll have to wait, wait and see if we can do a whole one next year. Mm. Maybe. One day we we'll might make it through a whole one. I, I am a bit sad because I was really enjoying it and I feel bad because my mum bought tickets for all of us and we've all just left. But my brother took, um, my niece out and then it was just me toby and my mum and dad and they were like do you want to stay and i was like i really do but i feel like if i stay here without children it's a bit weird so so we've left too i just ran into town to grab <coughs> something for my nan because i have realized i can leave all the presents and stuff here and my mum and dad can give it to her because we're not going to get a chance to see her before christmas and i found those chocolates car had them when we had our christmas dinner they are amazing they're not vegan they just happen to be like they're not like free from but they happen to be vegan they are amazing and i think she said she got them from like lidl or something but i found them so i bought some of those and i'm really excited to eat those because i'm starving so yes back to my mum and dad's boop, boop. <laughs> On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my the work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy. So giddy up, root of my dear. So every year we buy. So I think you started this. So the first year, I think you got me this one. I have one like this. Yeah, so on my first year of uni, I think you bought me this one. And then, so you must have bought me one like this, and then the following year I must have bought you that. So it must have been, I think I was in my house in Filton, so it must have been 20... Uh, Something. 11? 13? No, no, because I graduated by then so if it was like 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 i'm sure there was more anyway so i think this was the first one or you got me a similar one to start with yeah i think so i think that was the one so this is how it started and then there's a mug let's say you focus when you've only got one hand a little clear clear cup i like that one actually that one's really cute. One. Did I write the years on the bottom? No. Mm. A little cafetiere. <clears throat> I think this was last year's actually. And then this year's, which is the, it's like petrol coloured. So there's loads of them. My mum and dad are going to tell us about the Christmas decorations on their tree. So if you can't tell, they're a bit obsessed with National Lampoon's Christmas, Christmas vacation. vacation. I got you this one last year. That was your Christmas Eve present last year, actually. Oh, Bristol. Oh my god. Squirrel. 
I have a squirrel on my tree as well. Does Jack? I don't think so. <laughs> we need to watch this film. We we need to watch Elf, Miracle on 34th Street in this film and Jingle All Lay. Wonderful life. Oh, there's the bell somewhere, isn't there? From, um... oh, oh, yeah. it's a wonderful life. It was number one. And this we have. What is this from? I noticed this one earlier. Um, I think that was Bath at Christmas Market. I think so as well. Because we I think got I about six you in a pack. Getting those, yeah. Uh, where is the? I really like that one. Polar Express. Polar Bell. Express. I've got a Bell. Polar Express bow as well. It came in a little box. Oh, here's Gaudi Santa. Yeah, I love him. Oh, he's hiding. Actually, uh, I think I've got this one. Gaudi Santa. Paris. From Barcelona. Runs round here. Sort of Paris. Here. So my mum and dad do These sort of similar to Paris. what I do and collect them from different places. Oh, and places. this. Look, we've got quite a lot of oh, Paris. Oh, you, you put yours in like a region. Yeah. And That's here. clever. Is Paris. I don't do that. Maybe I should do that next now, year. Now, let's have a look. Put them all together. Polar Express. Run. Bell. I like um, this little Christmas pudding. Oh. He's quite cute. Free little cat. That was one from Bath as well, I think. I think so. I don't know where the polar bear Oh, yeah. Is. Our cat, had, our old cat, had to have his leg amputated. So my mum also cut the leg off the cat on the Christmas tree. Just, you know, consistency. Didn't Lena get that? And my friend at uni got this one for us. Yes. Lena got you that one, didn't she? She did. That's nice, I like that one. Um, is it All the Starbucks the ones. I can't see it. Toy it's Story. It's on the other tree. Camper van. Who got? Oh, I got you this last year. Your Bailey Christmas decoration. Oh, they've got a Bailey. Small. This one's cool. This one's really old. The toy chest one. These ones are like from when we were little. This horse and the toy chest. These ones are too. Oh yeah, these have our names on. So these must be. No, it's not on here. So these are mine and Jack's then. Yeah, and yeah. this one that says. Oh, brother this... and sister. Well, there's one. I remember Nana and Grandad bought that one. Jack chose that because it yes. reminded him of the dog. I remember that too. Yeah, and you got that one. No. Didn't you? We both had that? one because there's a sister one as well. I can't remember what one I chose when Jack got that. We've got a lot of similar things from similar places. And this was um, when Lily was first, her first Christmas. I've got one of those. Gran and Grandad. I've got one of those too. That was an MS one. Yeah, it was. Like a charity decoration from ever from the years ago. Express bell is missing. Yeah. Ma weird, maybe a child has weird. taken it. Oh, this one I got you. Mm. That's from uh, Venice. I've also got two of those ones from Venice. Oh, here's Polar Express right here. Oh. And it says Polar Express on it, <laughs> so I know it's the right one. So this one is Polar Express and I've got like a little version of that and a little festive puppy. Hey Dottie, feeling festive with your Christmas scarf? The first year we got Dottie, I took a picture with her in this onesie laying on the sofa and she was tiny. And then the next year I did, took the same picture and then it's become a thing now and I try and take the same picture every year to see how much she's grown. So we just tried to do it this year because obviously I didn't get a chance to do one last year. And um, yeah, she it was quite hard this year because she's so much bigger and not very interested in sitting and cuddling with me. Um, but we just did that, so that's amazing. And we're literally just getting ready to go now. So it's a bit later than we'd planned to leave, but it's been really nice. We've had a really nice day, and we're just going to get ready to go and drive home. holding your hand the wrong way around. Oh, wow, look. It's freezing. Literally, this time last weekend when our friends came, it was like 15 degrees and now it's minus one, is it? Mm -hmm. Minus one, it's so cold. We've just stopped. We don't really need to stop, but Starbucks is open. A little cruise around the shops, why not? I also completely forgot that I got changed and put my onesie on. Oops, I was um, 
we were just in WH Smiths and I was like, why is a lady like looking at me funny? And then I was like, oh yeah, I'm literally Christmas walking around. I just grabbed a coffee. I think Toby's up here getting some KFC. Honestly, like, I think I feel like this whole vlog was just like in service stations, just getting like shit food all the time, but we never really do it to be honest. Toby didn't get a KFC, his card wasn't working, and then he got angry. He threw something. Jake's he didn't. just like that we're home thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it please like and subscribe and i will see you tomorrow we're so near the end i'm really sad about it but yeah i will see you tomorrow for day 22 night <laughs>